FNAF is notorious for being the king of horror games, so when on the January 12, 2017 when FNAF World released many people were confused by the chibi artwork and non-horror gameplay it was hated on for being a not very FNAF-like game and a change in the series, so when the creator Scott Cawthon made the game not canon to the series many thought it would end there, but when Ultimate Custom Night Ray released many were delighted by the game and its potential, but one character lay in the selection screen that seemed to be the odd one out old man consequences who is a character from FNAF World. Obviously, this confused me, and probably others, also Scott doesn't add characters for no reason so old man consequences appearance in the game made me question his true purpose in the game first of high. His design is noteworthy being a red crocodile entity with is pretty similar to Monty from Security Breach, and as I said Scott doesn't do coincidences also as seen in FNAF Ultimate Custom Night. Old Man Consequences is not just a normal character, he is a sort of demon who during the game tells Cassidy the spirit torturing Afton to leave his demons to his demons basically telling him to stop torturing Afton and to move on to the afterlife. But that doesn't happen, but this doesn't mean he likes Afton actually it's quite the opposite, this is actually why he appears in the roster of characters. Ryan to torture him so when the glitch trap virus starts spreading, I think OMC old man consequences for short would notice his conscience is spreading to others, so I think since this takes place around the time of security breach he possibly possess Monty notice how Monty acts in security breach notice when he leaps towards the player while yes fine af is set around a time where technology is obviously Way more advanced than our time, I don't think a metal animatronic could just casually jump a pretty far distance in FNAF world we see OMC actually drown the player, but not with his hands, so it's... He has psychic abilities this would explain how Monty can jump so far by using telekinesis on himself for an extra boost, but then why would he be chasing our main character who has done nothing wrong? It's possible that the glitch trap virus actually took control of OMC, which isn't completely impossible in the FNAF universe, so in conclusion, it's completely plausible that OMC possessed Monty to stop the spread of the virus, but in the end he got possessed instead, so that's my theory on OMC by.